Hey guys, good morning, happy Monday. Uh, it is 7, 7.30 basically, and uh, we have a long run on the schedule today. So I just ate an apple, uh, ate a, like a teaspoon of honey, um, and I'm drinking some Celtic salt water here for some electrolytes. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty cold and windy morning. Um, I despise running in the wind, but we just got to get it done um, and get through it. But anyway, um, if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Andrew. Uh, I am documenting my sub three marathon build um, journey here on YouTube. So if you guys are interested in um, sticking around, make sure to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Um, because it helps my videos quite a lot. So yeah, guys, uh, feeling really good. I feel very strong. I feel like I'm getting faster each day um, and all good things that I'm feeling. So let's go uh, have a great run and um, I'll try to talk to you guys during my run, but I'm not sure only cause it is quite windy out. So um, uh, if not, you guys will definitely see like footage of me running, but um, anyway, let's go get a great run in. Okay, it's actually not that windy out, you guys. Um, so, that's good. But, feeling really good this morning. Feel happy, excited, um, full of gratitude. So yeah, I'll check back in with you guys soon. When you're going on these long runs, make sure that you aren't going out too fast. You wanna be able to conserve your energy. So make sure that your pace is nice and easy in the beginning and then you can pick it up. But don't start out too fast. That is the number one mistake in people trying to achieve a certain time in a race. And they don't because they start out too fast. So keep that in mind. Go nice and easy. You got this. The goal for these long runs, at least in the beginning of your training, is not meant to focus on speed. Instead, you want a base train. You want to build your aerobic base to give you that endurance that you're going to need for a marathon or any race really. So that's why it's crucial to not go fast and just enjoy it. You have speed days. You'll have days where the point of the run is to run fast. So you'll get those, don't worry. <laughs> but just focus on going slow and build your aerobic base. All right guys, almost at the seven mile marker. Then I will turn around and yeah, feeling really good though. Um, going nice and easy. I'm averaging like a 7.13 a minute per mile pace. So feeling good. Check back in soon. All right guys, a little over two miles to go. It's gotten really windy on the way back. Feeling good. Um, we're almost there. We got this. The wind is brutal, you guys. God, this is, this is like, I hate running in the wind. But this is crazy. It's like 35 miles per hour. Wild. All right, guys. Officially home from that run. Um, I rolled out, stretched, but I'm gonna roll out again after I eat. I just have to eat now because I am literally starving. So um, I'm gonna show you what I'm having for breakfast. I'm gonna have two breakfasts today. Um, 
and I normally do when I go on long runs. So I'll show you what I'm having. I'm just taking down some water right now. Um, okay. Sorry that my, um, if my kitchen is a mess, but cold brew, obviously. And then um, I made some almond pecan hybrid butter yesterday, which is going on top of my uh, overnight oats um, right here. So I have this every single morning. Um, it's obviously just oats. And then I do half a banana with some maple syrup or honey. Um, I'll add like blueberries and stuff in there as well. And then um, on top, I have been recently doing, um, well, obviously the, the uh, all in butter, but um, I just got some beet, uh, beet pollen and cacao nibs. So this is gonna go on top. Um, and yeah, okay. Let me set you guys down here. Uh, here. Um, so I basically just like shake it to get it moving. Oh, the lighting is so bad. Hold on. I'm going to move you guys. Okay. That's a lot better. Um, all right. So this is what I do. It goes here and then let's see, guys, that run, I'm going to talk about it after I eat with you guys, but it was actually like, it's been windy here. And then it kind of chilled out. Um, and then it picked up again two days ago. And then it was also windy yesterday. So I was like, this morning, um, I was like, oh, it's not bad. Like, <laughs> I literally was like, oh, guys, it's not bad. And then on the way back was a different story. Like, that was... And running against that, you guys, is not, not easy. But we got it done. So it's all that made us. Okay. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. I'm just... Okay. Okay, guys. Breakfast part one. That is what the cacao nibs and bee pollen looks like. Also, if you know, you know, the best meal bar on the market, not sponsored. I don't work with this brand, but um, I just love their bars. And then this is Heirloom Coffee's, uh, I can't remember what roast, but the notes were milk chocolate, um, bold, and something else. So it sounded like a dark roast, which is why I bought it. It's in the yellow package. I bought it from Sprouts. Um, okay, so this is breakfast part one. I'm going to eat this and then um, roll out and talk to you guys about my training plan and how I'm feeling and all of that. All right. Hey, guys, you are balancing on my overnight oats mason jar. Um, but I just finished up breakfast, finished coffee. <clears throat> um, and yeah, I mean, I guess I just wanted to chat with you guys about um my training plan and where i am at with training kind of how i'm feeling all of that good stuff so um basically started training two weeks ago for a sub three marathon um and i trained for my first marathon earlier this year that i mentioned in the first episode of the sub three marathon build which you guys showed so much love on thank you so much for watching um, very unexpected, but thank you guys for caring <laughs> enough to watch. Um, but anyway, so I started training for my first marathon, um, earlier this year at the end of February came, um, out from an injury. Uh, I had runner's knee at the very, very, like literally January 1st of this year, um, took a month and a half to recover. And then I had two weeks to train for the LA marathon ran that um and 
And then, yeah, and then that's, that's about it. But I obviously didn't train properly at the beginning because I was injured and I was out. And honestly, I, I thought for a while that I wasn't going to run LA because of my knee. Um, but things kind of took a turn when I went on a run and um, my knee was like feeling better. And I was like, okay, this is a good thing, but it's also very concerning because the marathon is in two weeks and there's only so much you can do in two weeks to prepare for a marathon. I mean, there's really, you're kind of, you're, you're more so relying on your mental stamina and your mental endurance and strength than you are your physical ability um, because that amount of time is not nearly enough to properly train. Um, with that said, this go around, I am feeling really good, knock on wood. Um, and I am not only running, but I'm also strength training, which I have been doing for about a year now. So I find that strength training, um, obviously helps in, in so many different ways, but, uh, I feel stronger and I feel like I, um, it helps with my joints, uh, my knees, my glutes, my quad, like literally all of the muscles that you need to run. Um, I strengthen at the gym. Um, I do a lot of mobility work. I make sure that I am flexible. Um, and I also cycle and I find that cycling is a great form of active recovery. Um, and yeah, so I, today, 40 mile run tomorrow will probably be anywhere, anywhere between five to seven. Um, on days that I do five, my five mile runs, I will do hill repeats uh, for five sets. Um, so definitely incorporating speed in my training. Um, <clears throat> but other than that, I mean, I feel really good. I was telling my mom yesterday, like, I feel very strong and I feel a lot faster. I feel like I, my aerobic base has, um, the capacity has, has gotten a lot bigger, um, in terms of like, you know, um, how, like not needing to like stop or, you know, take a deep breath. I feel like I, I don't do that at all. Um, especially because where I live, we like live in a valley and it's all hills here. So in that regard, I feel very lucky to be able to train here because when I'm running on flat ground, it's very easy. Um, and I have my, <laughs> my like backyard to thank for that. So, um, yeah, guys, that is that is what training is looking like. I'm going to take you through the rest of my day, show you what I'm eating, how I am recovering um, and fueling for all of this exercise. It's so important that, um, well, first, like you should definitely consult with a professional if you are um, getting into like any kind of exercise regimen, but especially running, because I find that people who start running um oftentimes don't know how to feel and that's not a fault of their own it's just um you know it takes a minute to figure out what works for you and what doesn't work for you so definitely do your research um talk to a professional uh don't do things because other people are doing them do things that work for you and um make you feel good the number one kind of like worst thing that you can do for yourself is compare your training plan to others um, it just doesn't make sense to do that um, because it what works for someone it won't work for you um, it's just that's that's just what it is and so you have to kind of be okay with that and figure out what does work for you and stick with that um, so if you are getting into running or if you are interested in getting into running, be patient with yourself, take your time. Um, and as cliche as it sounds, trust the process. It Running has taught me so much patience and has taught me so much about myself. But I thought that I was a patient person 
before I started running. And then I started running and now I'm like, no, I was not a patient person before. Like running teaches you so much patience because these long, slow runs that you have to do to build your aerobic base, they may be boring, but you are going to become so incredibly fit by dropping your ego and leaving it at the door and just being like, you know what? I don't need to work on speed today. I'm just going to go on a long, slow run because I know it's going to be beneficial come race day. So take your time, like definitely incorporate slow, long runs into your training plan. Um, and don't feel like each time you need, you know, you're going out on, on a run, you need to sp like sprint or like run fast for that exercise. It's like, you'll have speed days in your training plan. Um, you just kind of have to be patient with the process and trust that everything that you're doing now is going to pay off come race day. So anyway, all of that being said, I've hopefully I haven't like yapped your ears off, um, but I am going to go stretch and roll out and then get ready for the day. Um, and I will chat with you guys around like noon when I'm having lunch. Um, uh, and yeah, and then we'll go from there. Also really quick, just wanted to say that you are also strong and you are also capable of running marathons, of running these races. You just have to believe in yourself, guys. That's really what it comes down to. Um, I find that there is no greater strength than believing in your abilities and your physical and your mental abilities. Um, you are strong. You can do it. You got this. Believe in yourself. Do not compare yourself to anybody. Focus on your training plan and what you're doing to make sure that you're successful on race day. Okay, guys, this is lunch. It is 1245. So um, on the as the base, I have one full egg and one egg white. Um, some roasted carrots here from Thanksgiving, garbanzo beans, zucchini caviar. I have half an avocado there and some crackers. Oh, and I, ha I sauteed some spinach. So that is at the bottom as well. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then check back in soon. Hey guys, just got to the sauna um, for like a 30 minute session. Um, I'm gonna go in, kind of relax, and yeah, that's about it. It is like 1.30 right now, so um, I may or may not go to the gym after. We will see how I'm feeling, but thought I would come here as a form of recovery, um, and yeah, okay, let's go inside, and I will show you guys what light I uh, choose and also the scent. Hey guys, just finished up with the sauna, feeling really good, um, very relaxed and <laughs> very tired. I feel like <clears throat> when I get out of the sauna, I uh, like feel really good, but I also just feel like kind of drained in a good way. Um, so we're going to skip the gym today and, um, yeah, I feel like we, we did, we did enough of like, you know, moving around. So, um, I'm going to go home and then, uh, get unready for the day and yeah. And then I will chat with you guys in a bit. Hey guys, it is now 3.10. I came home, took a shower, got on ready for the day. Um, I just poured myself some peanuts and cashews and hazelnuts. So I'm going to eat this um, and get to work um, that I have to finish up for the day. But yeah, guys, that drink wholesome smoothie, by the way, that I made earlier, that is the peanut butter flavor and it is delicious. It's so good. Um, you can use code ANGELBELIAN for 10% off your order. They have vegan options and um, their non-vegan options are made with egg whites. So it's really good, super gut friendly. Um, I don't get bloated. Like all of the ingredients are listed on the package and 
They're very transparent, which I love. Um, but yeah, so that was amazing. Uh, I'm gonna, like I said, do some work. I am actually getting um, certified as a personal trainer and sports nutrition coach. So I am working on those two certifications right now and I'm super stoked uh, to start working as, as a personal trainer next year. I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, other than that guys, that is about all I have to do. Uh, sorry, my dog was getting something off the coffee table. Um, but like I said, that's all I have to do for the rest of the day. I'm gonna edit this YouTube video so it can go up tomorrow, like tomorrow morning. Um, and yeah, okay, I will see you guys for dinner. All right guys, it is 5.20. I just chopped up, chopped up this yam and seasoned it with some salt, cinnamon, and drizzled a bit of olive oil on top. Um, I'm gonna put this in the oven at 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes um, and then let it cool for an additional 10. Uh, and then I have brown rice going on the stove. I'm gonna chop up some vegetables that I'll show you guys. Uh, but yeah, this is the start of dinner prep. All right guys, here are my vegetables that I'm gonna chop. So we have some shishado peppers uh, cilantro, green onion, dill, and a tomato, and then avocado here. Um, I'm also going to use these beans uh, and then pine nuts as a topping with some tahini and one lemon. Um, but the brown rice is pretty much done. I'm waiting on the yam to finish uh, and then we will have dinner. All right guys, this is dinner all done. Base is brown rice. We have a bunch of vegetables, the ones that you saw on the cutting board, the shishado peppers sauteed in balsamic vinegar with some salt, half an avocado, black beans, tahini, the juice of one lemon, pine nuts. Um, yeah, this is, this is it. It's so simple, but it's so good. And I eat it every single night. Um, it's amazing. You have uh, your protein, fiber, healthy fats, um, carbs. You have, you're hitting all your macros uh, with this one dinner. So, um, and it's vegan uh, and it's amazing. Um, but yeah, this is dinner. All right, you guys, that is the end of episode two of my sub three marathon build journey. Thank you so much for watching and for sticking around. I appreciate um, each of you who take the time to watch my vlogs. It really does mean a lot to me. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and ring the notification bell so you won't miss episode three um, of the sub three marathon build. But until then, take care of yourself, run safe and run smart. I will see you guys next time. Bye.